Hello everybody and welcome back to FX Street. My name is Akash and today we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin and discuss what's happening with it, right? It's Friday. Uh, we're going to be going into weekend and things are going to get extremely volatile, hopefully. Uh, so uh, this video, this analysis is basically a preparation of things to come. Before we get into what's going to happen uh, with Bitcoin, please make sure to head on over to our YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button. And if you want to stay updated with the hottest trends in the crypto market, make sure to also click on the bell icon. You can give us a follow on Twitter at FXS Crypto, which is here. All right, and if you enjoy the content that I put out, make sure to give me a follow as well at Mangyako with the zero at the end. You can join my Telegram group or my YouTube channel where I post uh, trades that I'm taking. Right, for example, uh, earlier today I took this trade in my in, in the group. Uh, basically, it was a, a 15 minute scalp where I uh, hold on, let me just show it to you. It's it's much better this way. Right, uh, this was a trade that I was talking about, like uh, a pretty good equal high liquidity sweep trade, right? And then a like, few few minutes down the line, we get uh, our TP hit. Right, so if you're into this sort of content, please make sure to go ahead and join my Telegram group and also subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, where I recently posted a, a video about Bitcoin and my plans to trade it. Right, for example, uh, the there's a fractal forming on Bitcoin, right? And that's what I explain here. Uh, more of that is going to be arriving here. So before we get into the fractal and the lower time frame perspective, and even the uh, the short setup that I'm uh, currently taking right now, uh, I want to talk about the macro time frame perspective, right? And for that, I think we need to go over to this chart up here, which is here. There you go. So on a weekly time frame perspective, we can see that my levels uh, that I've marked here are pretty much the same. Not a lot has changed, right? The void uh, is this massive gap in volume profile uh, for Bitcoin extending from roughly 29.6K to 12K. So far, the price has dipped halfway towards the halfway point of this void and has bounced. And currently, we're undergoing a recovery rally, right? Uh, for now, I feel like we've, we've already reached the level one for the dead cat bounce which is 25K, <clears throat> approximately 25K. Basically, this uh, is a mean of the crash that took place bet took place between uh, April and June 2022. It was a 42% crash and the prices recovered half towards the halfway point of this crash. So uh, what I feel is gonna happen now is that the price is gonna reverse uh, and collect any inefficiencies left below as it rallied higher, right? Uh, but my... Overall outlook is pretty much the same, right, guys? We either get the dead cat bounce to first, and then we go down to 12K or 13K, or we go down to 13K now, and then uh, we get an up only rally probably to a new all time high. Like basically the start of a new bull run, right? So either of these two things are going to happen, right? Uh, so let's get into the moderate, like one day time frame. On a one-day time frame, you can see that I've, I've drawn this volume profile here, basically extending. The first volume profile extends from November 2021 to April 2022. It basically uh, comprises of this massive crash from all-time high down to perhaps uh, 33K. And after that, there was uh, a consolidation in the form of an ascending parallel channel. After that, the price crashed and then triggered another ascending parallel channel consolidation, exactly similar to what happened here. Now, this is a fractal. Now, uh, uh, what happened after the 9 June crash is exactly similar to what happened before that. So basically, we have, we've have had three uh, repetitions of this fractal. Uh, and what's happening right now is that the price is on the last leg of the fractal, which is uh, the final retest of the parallel channels of a trend line, followed by a move into the volume uh, profile's point of control. So the point of control is basically this red line that you see here. Uh, it indicates that that was the highest level and the highest volume basically was traded at this particular level right and as you can see here during the last leg there is quite a bit of struggle happening uh, around this level once that level is breached finally uh, you can see that uh, the following retest gets rejected and then you have the fractal start all over again right uh, something similar happened here as well there was a quite a bit of struggle between uh, 31st may and uh, 10th june which eventually led to the crash Right, so what's happening right now is that the last particular bounce uh, was was really important because A, it bounced off of the volume point of control at 21.1K and then it retested, rejected 
it retested the midpoint of this crash. And then it also closed under this parallel channel that you see here, which is really interesting, which, which indicates that it is conforming to this particular fractal. So what I think is going to happen next is that yesterday we kind of uh, broke through the 200 week moving average that you see here at 22,794. Uh, although it was a bearish event, the 30 day moving average, which has been immaculate in predicting uh, the trend for Bitcoin, kind of came to the rescue, right? As a result, Bitcoin price uh, rallied roughly 5% uh, overnight, right? This is where we're at right now. So let's get into the fractal, right? Uh, it is pretty simple. The, as I mentioned, right, 30-day moving average has been pretty immaculate with its uh, uh, prediction of what the trend is. Like once the trend was broken uh, up here in 6th April 2022, the prices had uh, multiple rejections, right? N none of them successful, right? You have one, two, three, four, almost four, five, six, seven, and then you have eight, and then nine here, and the 10th here, right? So after this 10 rejections, the price Finally, you know, on a three hour time frame, uh, broke through the 30 day moving average, used it as a support and then rallied higher. So basically a break followed by a massive run up is what we saw. And after that, the price basically retraced in, in steps. But what happened before the last, uh, before this particular move below the 230 day moving average, is that the price formed a high, came back down, Use the 200, uh, sorry, use the 30 day moving average as a support, rallied back up, created a double top here and here, and then it basically dropped, crashed, right? So, what I'm seeing right now is, is, is something similar, right? Price broke through the 20, 30 day moving average, rallied, set a high, got rejected at the 50% uh, move of the 42% crash, right? Now, this is a perfect and amazing. Confluence, right? Uh, after this rejection, the price basically, uh, you know, daily dallied around the 200 week moving average and is cu currently created a swing high here. Uh, it has currently created a swing high at roughly 23.6K and is now uh, dropped lower and is bouncing off of the 30 day moving average, which reminds you of this particular move. So we are currently here in terms of the fractal uh, formation. Excuse me. Right. So let me just mark this out. This is where we're at right now. Uh, going forward, you can expect, what I'm expecting right now is for the price to go up, retest the uh, double tops, double top at 23.6K and then get rejected there, get it moved down. But things that are ever evolving, they're changing. So I think what's happening right now is that the price is getting rejected off of this H4 supply zone. The four hour supply zone here extending from 23 point roughly 4k to 24.2k. Uh, although we've had multiple retests of this supply zone, I feel like uh, that is why Bitcoin price is kind of falling short. Uh, but I'm not sure, guys. I've already opened a short position here. I'm also, uh, I've also kept some, uh, uh, some orders here at this level 23.6k. Right, so, what I'm hoping is for the price to retest the, or at least fill the fair value gap that was formed here as, a, as the price rallied uh, explosively in a single direction. Right, the first take profit level would be 21.4K, 21.4K, yes. And then we have the double bottom that was formed here on basically anywhere from 18th July and 26th July, a double bottom was formed, which pushed Bitcoin price up basically by 19%. Right, so now this, this is an important uh, development. So basically there is uh, a little bit of liquidity resting below these equal lows found here. Hence, uh, I am expecting uh, a Bitcoin move all the way down to 20.7K. So basically my three take profit levels include the FVG at 21.4K and then we have 21.1K, which is the volume point of control that I showed you guys in this particular chart here, 21,155. Right, and then finally we have the double bottom that was formed here at 20,750. So basically book profits, I'm gonna be booking profits in any of this particular range. And yeah, that's that's basically my game plan for Bitcoin, right? Uh, the invalidation thesis for this particular uh, outlook is that the price continues to go up, pierces midway point of the supply zone, and then retests 
and fills the H1 FEG that is present here at roughly 24.3K. Now, once that happens, I'm gonna look for signs of a top formation. If I get that, I'm gonna reshort, I'm gonna re-enter a short position at 24.3K. And then again, right? Basically the whole shebang is, uh, it's basically the same, right? I'm gonna be booking profits anywhere from 21.4K to 20.7K. So yeah, that's my plan. Like this is my force invalidation thesis. And the second one basically includes a flip of the 50 retracement level here at 24.5K. If we get that, right? Uh, the next level that I'm expecting Bitcoin price to go is uh, anywhere from 29K to 28K. And the reason for this is pretty simple. If you look at this with extensions, right? Uh, you have uh, this reversal zone here extending from 26K to 28K. So although I feel like 26K is a potential reversal zone, uh, if you look at what uh, the price action that uh, took place between 9th May and 9th July, the wicks of these candles are closely coinciding with 79 retracement level here. Hence, 28.6K feels like a, a really good reversal point for Bitcoin. But if Bitcoin price ever does come come up to 28K, roughly 29K, I think uh, a wick to 30K would make more sense. Like it would get a lot of people excited. And then if the price reverses from there, it would catch a lot of... Uh, investors off guard. So I feel like from a dead cat bound scenario, like I explained in this particular chart here, the first level is already reached here at 25K, roughly 25K. And the second level is 28.7K, which is basically the 79 retracement level. So yeah, uh, in, in the case that we flip this uh, 50 fib that you see here uh, at 24.5K, I think that's that's when you give up on the, the short shorting Bitcoin and then you just, uh, wait for the Monday's close and then long Bitcoin up to probably 28K, 29K. So yeah, that pretty much concludes my take on Bitcoin. If you enjoyed this analysis, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe. <laughs>